Well, say they're looking for several suspects who may be involved in a string of break ins on Central Avenue. We're told they have a pretty good idea of what one of the suspects looks like. They just need your help finding him. Crime Tracker 36 reporter Glenn Counts joins us live now from our bubble newsroom in East Charlotte. Glenn, how do they know who they're looking for? Well, Bobby, that's because they got a really good picture of them now. Police can't put this spike on one guy, but they think if they can get him off the streets, it would make a difference. You see the guy breaking in through the window. At least six Central Avenue corridor properties have been hit, and police think that this man is one of the people responsible. In the very beginning up here, you can see him where he's actually smashing the window a couple times, kicks it, enters, and runs right straight back to the back of the store. Officer R.G. Colpitz has been working on this case. It's a very good quality video um, that they had at the store. Crowbar, um, probably got it from the trunk of his car as he backed up to the door. The burglary problem started in early October when someone tried to enter Charlotte Kenny's home. It was kicked in and shards and paint and everything was everywhere and so I was scared to walk in. Police don't know if her case is linked to the others or how many burglaries this suspect may have committed. And we're really hoping that we can find somebody that recognizes him from this video um, so we can get some, hopefully some good leads to develop. Well, the most recent break-in occurred last night at a pawn shop. Police were able to make one arrest, but it's too early to say if that suspect is linked to any of these other cases. Reporting live from Central Avenue, Glenn Counts, News Channel 36. All right.